All right, guys. Today I'm be doing a quick review on the DGT rotary tattoo machine. One of the things that immediately got my attention is the build of it. It's almost entirely plastic. I'm gonna take off the nipple so you can see the armature bar. Even the armature bar on it is plastic. Which is really cool. It makes it really lightweight. It reminds me of a of a Glock. The same way like a Glock is made with the polymer. It reminds me of that. So I'm gonna show you the weight. They advertise these as being three and a half ounces. I'm gonna weigh it. Getting two point eighty one ounces. So it's a really light machine. I'm gonna weigh my iron workhorse core machine where you can get a idea the difference in weight. It's nine point forty seven. So that's a big difference in weight. So I'm gonna plug it up, that way you can hear it. That's down at seven. They advertise these as being able to run up to 14 volts. So I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. That's at 12. So I doubt you'd ever need to run a machine that high. But I really wouldn't use these machines too much for lining. I mean, I guess you could. I'd be using it for shading. I've used it a few times. I'm going to be posting a video soon on my YouTube profile where you guys can um, subscribe to my, my page and you can follow and you can see me uh, doing an actual tattoo with this machine. So I'm going to be doing a lot more of these videos where I review machines and newer machines that uh, I know people are dying to know about different types of machines that are out there before they go out and buy them. A lot of new tattoo guys and women out there. So I'll we'll be doing these videos, kind of review them and fill you in before you buy each machine. Like one of my uh, favorite YouTubers, Hitcock45, he reviews guns. And I'm going to be reviewing these tattoo machines. So like my video, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching.